Welcome students, in today's class we are going to learn how to draw anything. You folks like my new microphone, it's got the pedals with the effects on it, it's part of my new awesome DJ rig. It's kind of echoey. It's alright. I'm a pretty well known DJ around here. DJ Cowboy, anyone? Very popular. Okay, uh, well in our last class we talked about how to draw basic lines and shapes and then how to take those and see them as 3D objects like cubes, spheres, cylinders, and cones. Oops, my bad, didn't mean to step on that pedal this time. I remember that. You said we could draw anything with those shapes, but you couldn't draw the half-eaten Pop-Tart in the corner. <gasps> I didn't say that, we just ran out of time. In art, there's something called construction. The reason we practice drawing those shapes is because we are going to use them over and over again. You're going to be so tired of drawing cubes when I'm done with you, you're going to be dying to draw a sphere. Where's that Pop-Tart? Let's take a look at that thing. What shape does this most look like? It looks like a cube, but obviously it's a very flat cube. So let's shrink that cube down to be flatter. The bites that are taken out of it are like cylinders. We of course don't see those cylinders. So what we're going to do is we're gonna cut out those round shapes from our main cube and still see that three dimensionality. And then we can add some of the details like the frosting on top and some of the delicious oozing strawberry syrup on the inside. How about that bookshelf? This is easy because mostly it's just cubes, but it's a lot of them. The shelf itself is a cube, but it's a hollow cube. So what we're gonna draw is we're gonna draw those lines inside of it. That way it shows that it has some weight and some depth to it. Now this also has a shelf in the middle. What is that shelf? It's just another flat cube that slides right into the middle. And the books, those are pretty much just cubes. I mean, we cut a little bit out of them to show that they have pages. Each one of these books is a different height and a different width, and that gives them some variation while they're sitting on the shelf. Mmm, but what about my ice cream bar? All right, well, that is a cube, but it's not a perfect cube. Obviously, that's rounded on top. So what do we use for the rounded part? We use a cylinder. In fact, we can cut that cylinder in half, jam it into the cube, and we have the rough shape of your ice cream bar. There's also the stick that goes in the bottom. Obviously, this is just another one of those short, flat, stretched out cubes. And like your ice cream bar, it's rounded at the ends. What are those? Those are just half cylinders. Now, of course, when we put it in place, we can't see the whole stick because it's inside of your ice cream bar. Let's take this one to the next level. Let's add some fancy stripes. Now, when we do add these stripes, these are gonna follow the path of the cube. Even though these stripes don't have straight lines, they have a wavy edge to them, that wavy edge is still following the shape of our cube. And if we wanna get super mega ultra fancy, we could make our ice cream look transparent and have part of that stick showing through the middle of it. Wow. I know, I know, it's pretty impressive. Okay, but that guitar is way more complex. Ooh, yeah, well, um... Mr. Brad, come to the principal's office. Oh, you're in trouble. You don't, you don't know that. Maybe, maybe he wants to give me a raise. I hope. Look, I'll be back, but while I'm gone, I've got an assignment for all of you. Assignment number one, I want you to go outside and look at the world around you. I want you to start looking at the world like artists. I want you to find objects and think about how you would make those objects and construct those objects using the shapes we've talked about today. Pro tip, this can be hard to do if you're a beginner, especially if you're not used to drawing in perspective. We'll be covering that in the future episode. Hit subscribe. A great way to get a feel for drawing is to find a picture on the internet and draw drawing lines over the picture you see. If you have a phone or tablet, you can take your paper and place it right over. It acts like a mini light box so you can see the photo underneath. If you're having a hard time drawing an object, starting with this technique is a good way to visualize how it's constructed before you try drawing it yourself. Also, when you're starting out, it's good to stick to man-made objects. Animals in nature do follow many of the same rules, but organic shapes are a little trickier. We'll be covering that in the future, too. Ring that bell. It's hot out here. See anything good to draw? I'm trying to figure out how to do the slide. I guess it's boxes and cylinders. What would that cowboy guy say? Sometimes it's easier to think of objects from the side first. The slide itself is another flat cube. The sides, those are also cubes. So let's take a look at this from the side. Pretty boring, but we can see that the slide is tilted over. The thing is on an angle. The poles going up and down that form the ladder are also on a slight angle. Those poles would be cylinders. And then the steps that are attached to those cylinders, those are just more cubes. The tricky part here is the top. Sometimes these shapes bend 
that's where our slide handle comes in. This is why I sometimes like to look at things from different angles, even if you're drawing them in 3D, looking at them from the top or the side can help you figure out, hey, this is just a simple shape that another shape is following. So then when we step over and start drawing this in three dimensions, we can practice drawing our boxes and our cylinders on an angle. If you're new, I understand this is tricky, but this is a good thing to practice. And if you are having trouble, feel free to just sketch out the basic lines and don't think so much about the shapes underneath it first and add the shapes later. It can often help you break this down into its basic shapes. Mr. Principal, uh, you wanted to see me? Yeah, come in here. I hear you're a DJ. I'm throwing a party. You must go to a lot of parties. Oh yeah, I'm pretty well known across the Tri-County area for my DJ skills. What kind of music are you looking for? Oh no, no, not, not that. I just booked DJ Tanner. What? My nemesis? I just wanted your opinion on the food. Right, the food. The tire swing is super easy, at least the tire part. That's a cylinder with a cylinder cut out of the middle. I can't get the chains right. Maybe I can help. Whoa, you're DJ Tanner. Wow. Yep, that's me. Just booked a huge gig. I'm also a part-time art teacher. Cut it out. Sometimes there are shapes you can't see, but many other shapes will line on them. The ropes holding up the tire swing form a cone shape. Even though we aren't putting the cone in the final drawing, sketching it out will help us figure out where the rope lines go, and those will be in the final drawing. Try this one next. Oh, uh, is this fish raw? Of course it is. Why would you even cook a freshly caught perch? Water. I need water. Really bad. Next, I want you to try the halibut. <laughs> is this salt water? Okay, I think we have the hang of this. The swing set should be easy. The cylinders follow a triangular shape on both sides. Then another cylinder across the middle to form that top bar. We could add two more cylinders as support bars. And the swings, those are just those cubes he keeps going on about. And they're held up by ropes. Very good. Construction is the first part of drawing, but you can break free from it once you have the core shapes in place. If those swings were swinging, we would see those cubes from different angles. I think you kids are well on your way to becoming great artists. You're back! Yeah. Did you get fired? No, unfortunately, I was not fired. That would have been better. We finished our assignment. These look great. Yeah, thanks to DJ Tanner, she's a great art teacher. What did you say? Oh, sorry, my bad. Stepped on the effects pedal again. You never showed us how to make that guitar. Right, you folks could probably tell me how to make that guitar after looking at the work you did today. Well, the body is rounded, so maybe two cylinders. Then the neck is a cube, and the head is a modified cube. The tricky part is the body. Once you get the main parts of the construction, you're most of the way there. Where it gets a little fuzzy is sometimes you do have to go in and add curved lines to connect the various shapes to make it look right. And then you can add your details. Subscribe and hit up the comments if you want a video on that. Looks great! DJ Tanner! Y you What? NASA equipment. I can tell you're a fan. I- th what, this? Sure, I'll sign that for you. Y'all want a show? Yeah! Oh, that, that, that pedal's for... No, no, I don't think, uh... Why aren't you dancing, cow guy? I'm not sure that's appropriate right now, ma'am. This is a public school. Oh, this is a sick beat. Okay, I think I've seen enough for one day.